Hi, my wonderful Cancers. I hope all is well. Let's go ahead and jump into your reading. I'm going to go ahead and just do an energy check-in. See what's going on with my Cancer babies. If this is resonating with you and you feel like you need a personal reading, go ahead and click on my description box. There you'll see my link to my Etsy shop. Go ahead and click on that link and there you will see how you can purchase a reading from me. And if you've purchased a reading, just know that they should be all sent out today. I just finished my last two, so I'm all cut up. <laughs> I'm all caught up. I said cut out. Something's about to be cut out of your life because I want to say cut out, all right? All right. Let's see what's going on with my wonderful cancers. For Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising... Holy Spirit, what do you want Cancer to know? Yeah, okay. There's something that you're dealing with that's making you very sad. We have Death of a Maiden. Boundaries, okay. Something's made you sad. Some, and I literally said something's being cut out of your life. There's a person that's about to be cut out of your life. Um, and there's some sadness attached to this. I'm hearing something about an escape. The great escape. Okay. Let's see why is this. And I'm hearing don't cry, dry your eye. Someone here watching this video maybe putting like tezzle in their hair or doing something different to your hair. You may be drawn to doing that cancer. Let's see. Why is this? Mm, finality. Closure. There's something here, Cancer, that the divine wants you to know that it's 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 done. It needed to close. You need it, you need it to release this. I don't, I'm hearing it's been said and done. This may not resonate with all my cancers, all right? Not every reading I do is going to resonate with everyone. But there's something about it's been said and done. It's final. You need to release it. This may be something to do with, like, family. Let's see. Yeah. We have an emotional storm right here at the bottom of the deck. There's something about you um, having a realization, like an epiphany, fairly recently, Cancer. And this epiphany may have caused you an emotional storm, and at times you probably obsessed with it. You know how my beautiful Cancers, y'all can kind of like um, replace, replay stuff over and over again and just kind of be a little obsessive over something, a situation that really hurts you because you guys love so deeply, you know? You love so deeply. Oh, Lord. We have a return here. There's something returning to you really soon. We have a return. Let's see what this is. We have a return here. Twin flame. This is a person. Oh, God. There is something to do with something ending with someone who hurt you. But this was destined and it needed to release, be released. You know this. You had an epiphany. This caused an emotional storm. And at times you can be obsessive thinking about it in the past. But there's something to do with like a return here. Um, this person may be trying to return. <clears throat> this person may be trying to return. Yeah, they're conflicted. And will cause you to be a bit conflicted. This is someone who uh, mirrored you. This is someone that mirrors you. I'm hearing coming, coming, um, 
coming up with a this person's coming up with a master plan plan be prepared <sighs> perspective happiness better off this person had some type of change of perspective about what happened in the past right here this person had some type of change of perspective when it comes to what happened in the past it's like they're shattered and broken because of some type of foundation that was supposed to built, be built between you guys. Oh, Lord, it's one of those readings. Y'all know how I am. I'm just a reader, guys. I'm just a reader, but... Um, no to exes. No, 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 no. But there are some situations where, you know, it could be... I don't... It could work out, you know. And not every situation is just, you know, said and done and it's over with. Okay, let me see. Yeah, look. We got two skeletons here and a, tr a metamorphosis. There's been a major change here within Come Sisters. You guys are, there's a major change. It says you miss someone. This person, and this, I pulled this card for their energy. They miss you, Cancer. They miss you. We have the bottom of the deck, the power of three. We here. This card, when I look at this bottom of the deck right here, I feel like. See how this skeleton is really close to this female right here? I feel like they may have um, let someone influence them. There could be a third person. For some, for, not third. There could be a second person. I feel like for, for you, Cancer, there's either one or two people that helped influence this person, not letting this person off the hook, okay? But they chose these idiots for some reason to mess up something. And now they feel like they're they're dead, like, they feel like they're out, they're left for dead. Spirit is telling you right now, Cancer, with this message that I'm giving you, find the lesson, discover the purpose in a situation, trust that you are learning, all right? You're growing up. You've outgrown this person. Forget who you are. I feel like this is similar to the last reading I did. It's like I'm picking up on that same energy again. Forget who you are. And spirit is coming through because there's something to do with this person returning. Let's see. This person is like spying on you and shit. Watching your social media. Trying to get information. Oh gosh, just one of those. Yeah, possibilities, free spirit, adventure, risk. They're trying to see if there's some type of possibility to get back in your energy because they had heart fog. Oh, Lord. oh well. Let me get some more cards. What does this person want to say to you? Let's see, what does this person want to say to you? Cancer? This is not the right deck. Lord have mercy. Let me pull the right deck. Okay. I don't know why I'm hearing this. I don't know why I'm hearing this. I don't like what I'm hearing. I don't know if I want to say that. <laughs> I'm hearing that song, um, said I loved you, but I lied. And I'm gonna go ahead and say it, um, because I keep hearing it over and over again. I'm hearing something about a fatal shooting that may have occurred. We hope that does not happen to anyone. But I'm hearing something to do with, like, a fatal shooting for someone watching this, watching this video. Not all of you, Okay. Okay, it says, I'm ready to embrace the changes that will take place if I date you. 
this person is going to undergo like some type of cruel summer. Or last summer was cruel to you. It says, I'm rushing in, love. Don't ignore the red don't ignore the red flags. I'm still working through my issues, but I need to be near you while I do it. Okay, so this person doesn't want you to ignore the red flags, but because they're still working through some issues. This person, and I'm literally seeing someone on their hands and knees begging. Someone's about to come into your, back into your energy like begging because it's no fun now that the rob rabbit has the gun or something like that something to do with a gun possibly i really hope that's not it um it says let's have a date and see where it goes i like to go i'd like to go with the flow this person wants to go with the flow it's like they had some type of change of heart whoever this they've had like a change of heart yeah i want to work i want to work things out with you i know we are two very different people but with effort we can complete each other complement each other i'm sorry um i'm getting another message okay for someone here watching this video because there's another situation that i'm picking up on there's something to do with something ending with someone in your life like totally ended and I feel like there's someone coming in here that's about to apologize for their involvement. Like their involvement with, um, I'm hearing participation. Their participation of basically backstabbing you or making this um, foundation, your foundation rocky in some way. That's for someone here. It's like someone that was tied to someone that it's a complete ending with. They're coming back for, I'm seeing for some of you, there's something to do with like a relative or something. Like they want to come back and um, I'm seeing a mature woman. They see you as a mature woman or this could actually be a mature woman. I'm seeing handshake, like she wants to make it right or something like that. I'm hearing regain your trust. Someone wants to regain your trust. So for some of you, it's the actual person that did you wrong. They're coming back and having a change of perspective. And like I said, it's on it's um it's up to you. Y'all know I don't do exes. But um for other for another group of you, it's not the actual person. It's someone who may have listened to what this person was saying and believed what they were saying and then found out that you're actually a mature person that you're not what this person was saying you were and they want to they want to um fix things with you i'm hearing grandmaster flash is getting involved <laughs> okay that's an inside joke between me and god here um it's a nickname so god is getting um involved here, um, I feel like I'm hearing something about guilt has been eating this person alive and they want to, they want to make it up to you. Yeah, just wait and see. I'm going to make, look, I split the deck. It says, <laughs> just wait and see. I'm going to make it up to you. If that's the last thing I do, somebody is seriously, seriously cancer. And major regret. And major regret. Because all I got to say is who I'm talking to, these group of cancers, and even if you're a cross watcher and you're not a cancer and you just feel drawn to my readings, I want to say, this reading's for you. You don't have to necessarily be a cancer. You guys that I'm reading for, you guys love hard. And I'm hearing that Aaliyah song, your love is one in a million. This person realizes that and I'm hearing, oh, I fucked up. They messed up. They messed up. They got involved with a drama starter or they were starting drama. Like I said, I got two different scenarios here. Two different scenarios. Someone here, I'm hearing evading arrest. For some of you, not all of you. Some of you, this person, 
the person that was actually doing the the horrible stuff to you there's something about them trying to er evade some type of arrest because they're about to have the a major downfall this could be someone who was seen as a wealthy man with great fortune but now like bittersweet something bittersweet is about to happen um you're releasing them it's bittersweet you need to release them you're releasing him you have abundance on your way cancer for some of you see that house right there you're going to be selling your home or getting a new home this person's going to be looking like this like what the hell did i just do i was so stupid and i'm hearing uh trey songs i fumbled your heart this person fumbled your heart cancer they fumbled your heart they were sleeping on you they're upset because you're you're releasing them there could be a child involved here. We have impatience right here. You guys have been very impatient. But trust, trust, trust. <laughs> the work you've been, look at how the alcohol, I said, I wanted to say alcoholic. This person's drinking a lot. And now I'm hearing uh, Beyonce's drunk in love. I've been drinking. I've been drinking. I like that song. Mm -mm -mm -mm. <laughs> person is drinking a lot um we have what you've been working on like working tirelessly on is perfect it's perfect all right it's perfect stop feeling guilty when you hear about look i'm getting something about drinking again stop feeling guilty because you have a big heart don't let your guilt keep you tied to this situation like tied in this home with this person See how this woman with the halo is just basically tied to them? And maybe not necessarily um, tied to a home, but tied mentally to them. You got to release that, honey. All right. I've been drinking. I've been drinking. That's my song. Drunk in love. Yeah. You're discovering your purpose. This, keep com this keeps coming out. You're discovering your life purpose. All right. This was all a part of your life purpose, honey. Wake up. It's your moment. It's your moment. I'm hearing that Nicki Minaj song. I wish that I could have this moment for life. You're going to be celebrating. And I'm seeing um, the Four of Wands. There's something that's about to surprise you. And you're going to be like, when you get the surprise, you're going to be like, I wish that I could have this moment for life. For life. Last message for my cancers. Or kick magic, okay? All right, we have the Akashic Libraries opening. You're remembering who you are. And I'm hearing she remembered who she was. Some of you need to do that affirmation. I need to do that for myself. Um, she remembered who she was. And I'm hearing divine justice. That is my, oh my gosh, that's my channel's first name before I change it to the Cancer and the Crab. Divine justice is in it. It's taking place. It's in full effect. Some of you may be seeing purple flowers. Maybe you be, may be drawn to a reader that has like purple flowers. I'm seeing purple flowers right here, purple roses. There could even be like a reader that has like purple roses. You need to listen to the message that she's saying. Or maybe you're attracted to purple roses. All right. Yeah. Bottom of the deck, what comes around... What comes around goes around, honey. They gonna learn today. All right, that's all I have for you wonderful cancers. If you like this reading and you feel like you need your own personal, visit my Etsy shop. The link is in the description box. Bye-bye.